Helen Rhoda Arnold Quinn born the 19th of May 1943 in Melbourne is an Australian-born particle physicist and educator who has made major contributions to both fields. Her contributions to theoretical physics include the Paquis-Quinn theory which implies a corresponding symmetry of nature related to matter-antimatter symmetry and the possible source of the dark matter that pervades the universe and contributions to the search for a unified theory for the three types of particle interactions strong, electromagnetic, and weak. As chair of the Board on Science Education of the National Academy of Sciences, Quinn led the effort that produced a framework for K-12 science education, practices, cross-cutting concepts, and core ideas—the basis for the next-generation science standards adopted by many states. Her honors include the Dirac Medal of the International Centre for Theoretical Physics, the Oscar Klein Medal from the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences, appointment as an honorary officer of the Order of Australia, the J. J. Sakurai Prize for Theoretical Particle Physics from the American Physical Society, the Carl Taylor Compton Medal for Leadership in Physics from the American Institute of Physics, and the 2018 Benjamin Franklin Medal in Physics from the Franklin Institute. Life Quinn grew up in Australia and graduated in 1959 from Tintern Grammar, Tintern Church of England Girls Grammar School, in Ringwood East, Victoria, Australia. She began college at the University of Melbourne before moving to the United States and transferring to Stanford University. She received her PhD from Stanford in 1967, at a time when less than 2% of physicists were women. She did her postdoctoral work at the DESY, the German Synchrotron Laboratory in Hamburg, Germany. She next spent 7 years at Harvard University before returning to Stanford, where she became a professor of physics at the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center. She retired in 2010 and devoted her efforts to education, especially K-12 and preschool science and multilingual education. She and her husband raised 2 children and have 3 grandchildren. Topic. Professional contributions Working with Howard Georgie and Steven Weinberg, Quinn showed how the three types of particle interactions strong, electromagnetic, and weak, which look very different as we see their impact in the world around us, become very similar in extremely high energy processes and so might be three aspects of a single unified force. With Roberto Pequi, she originated Pequi-Quinn theory, which suggested a possible near symmetry of the universe now known as Pequi-Quinn symmetry to explain how strong interactions can maintain CP symmetry the symmetry between matter and antimatter when weak interactions do not. One consequence of this theory is a particle known as the axion which has yet to be observed but is one candidate for the dark matter that pervades the universe. She showed how the physics of quarks can be used to predict certain aspects of the physics of hadrons which are particles made from quarks regardless of the details of the hadron structure with Enrico Poggio and Steven Weinberg. This useful property is now known as quark-hadron duality. She has given public talks in various countries on the missing antimatter, in which she suggests that this area of research is promising. In 2001, she was elected to become president of the American Physical Society for the year 2004. She was the fourth woman to be elected to the APS presidential line in the society's 102 year history. Quinn has had a long term engagement in education issues. She was a co founder and the first president of the Contemporary Physics Education Project, and helped design its first product, the chart of fundamental particles and interactions that appears on many schoolhouse walls next to the periodic table chart. CPEP received the 2017 Excellence in Physics Education Award from the American Physical Society for leadership in providing educational materials on contemporary physics topics to students for over 25 years. She was elected to the National Academy of Sciences NAS while she was a staff member at the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center. She was soon made a full professor of physics at Stanford. As a member of NAS, she joined the Board on Science Education of the National Research Council and has served on a number of its studies. She served as chair of this board for the years 2009-14. After retiring from Stanford, she spent her full effort on education. She planned and led the work of the NRC Study Committee that produced a framework for K-12 science education to guide the development of multi-state standards for science education. These 
Next Generation Science Standards were released in final form in April 2013. NGSS has been officially adopted by many states and the District of Columbia. Since the release of the framework, she has worked to support the ongoing process of development, adoption, and implementation of the NGSS. With Oki Lee and Guadalupe Valdez, she studied the opportunities for teaching English to English language learners in the context of NGSS. In 2015, the President of Ecuador appointed her as a member of the board Commission Gestora charged with leading the new National University of Education. Topic. Career Her professional career is as follows. 1967–68 Research Associate in Physics, Stanford Linear Accelerator Center 1968–70 Guest Scientist, Deutsches Elektron und Synchrotron, DESY, Hamburg, Germany 1971–72 Honorary Research Fellow, Harvard University 1972–76 Assistant Professor of Physics, Harvard University 1976–77 Associate Professor of Physics, Harvard University 1977–78 Visiting Associate Professor, Stanford University 1978–79 Research Associate, Stanford Linear Accelerator Center SLAC, Stanford University 1979–2003 Member, Scientific Staff, Stanford Linear Accelerator Center SLAC, Stanford University 1988–2004 Education and Public Outreach Manager, Stanford Linear Accelerator Center SLAC, Stanford University 1988–2004 Co-Founder and First President of the Contemporary Physics Education Project 2003–10 Professor of Physics, Stanford Linear Accelerator Center SLAC, Stanford University 2004 President of the American Physical Society 2005 Australian Institute of Physics Lecture Tour in celebration of the International Year of Physics 2009-14 Chair of the Board on Science Education of the National Academy of Sciences 2010 Professor Emerita, Stanford Linear Accelerator Center SLAC, Stanford University 2015-2018 Member of the Board Commission Gestora of the National University for Education UNAE in Ecuador Topic. Honors 2018 awarded the 2018 Benjamin Franklin Medal in Physics of the Franklin Institute for her pioneering contributions to the long-term quest for a unified theory of the strong, weak, and electromagnetic interactions of fundamental particles. 2017 selected to give the annual Dirac Lecture at Cambridge University, sponsored jointly by St. John's College and the Department of Applied Mathematics and Theoretical Physics of the University of Cambridge. Her topic, Antimatter, Dirac's Incredible Prediction and Its Consequences. She was the first woman scientist to be selected since the lecture series was begun in 1986. 2017 inducted to the Avenue of Excellence at Tintern Grammar, in the first class of inductees. The Avenue of Excellence on the Tintern campus honors Tintern graduates, and aims to inspire current and future students to pursue excellence. 2016 Carl Taylor Compton Medal for Leadership in Physics from the American Institute of Physics for her leadership in promoting K-12 education and outreach, including the development of standards and approaches to science education that have had an enormous influence at the local, state, national and international levels, and for her broad and deep contributions to the advancement of theoretical particle physics. 2016 Member of the American Philosophical Society 2013 J.J. Sakurai Prize for Theoretical Particle Physics from the American Physical Society with Roberto Pecchi, for their proposal of the elegant mechanism to resolve the famous problem of strong CP violation which, in turn, led to the invention of axions, a subject of intense experimental and theoretical investigation for more than three decades. 2008 Oscar Klein Medal from the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences she was the first woman to receive this award. 2005 appointed an honorary officer of the Order of Australia. 
for service to scientific research in the field of theoretical physics and to education. The award was honorary because Quinn was no longer an Australian citizen. 2004 President, American Physical Society. 2003 Member of the United States National Academy of Sciences. 2002 Honorary Degree, Doctor of Science, Honoris Causa, from University of Notre Dame. 2000 Dirac Medal of the International Center for Theoretical Physics, Trieste, Italy, with Howard Georgi and Jogesh Patti. For pioneering contributions to the quest for a unified theory of quarks and leptons and of the strong, weak, and electromagnetic interactions. She was the first woman to receive this award. 1998 Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, 1984 Fellow of the American Physical Society. For contributions to gauge theories of elementary particles, including influential work on renormalization in grand unified theories and studies of CP violation which led to the idea of the axion. <laughs> Selected publications <laughs> For the general reader The Mystery of the Missing Antimatter, Helen R. Quinn and Yossi Neer, Princeton University Press, Princeton, N.J. 2008, ISBN 9780691133096. The Charm of Strange Quarks, Mysteries and Revolutions of Particle Physics, R. Michael Barnett, Henry Murray, and Helen R. Quinn, Springer Verlag, New York 2000, ISBN 0-387-98897-1. Belief and Knowledge, A Plea About Language. Physics Today, January 2007. What is Science? Physics Today, July 2009. How the Cosmos Was Conquered, Helen Quinn and Yossi Neer, New Scientist, Volume 198, Issue 2651, 12 April 2008. Topic education Publications Science and Mathematics Education, Jeremy Kilpatrick and Helen Quinn, ed. An Education Policy White Paper of the National Academy of Education, 2009 A Framework for K-12 Science Education, Practices, Crosscutting Concepts, and Core Ideas, National Academies Press, Washington, D.C. 2012, ISBN 978-0-309-21742-2 Quinn was the chair of the committee producing this report and a principal author, Ref. C. Page V of the report, Science and Language for English Language Learners, Oki Lee, Helen R. Quinn Quinn and Guadalupe Valdez, Education Researcher 42-4-93-127-2013. Theoretical Physics Applequist, T. Quinn, H. R. April 1972. Divergence Cancellations in a Simplified Weak Interaction Model. Physics Letters B39-2, 229-232. Bibcode, 1972 PHLB, point three nine two hundred twenty nine a doi.10.1016.0370-2693-7200-0. Georgie, H., Quinn, H. R., Weinberg, S. 1974. Hierarchy of Interactions in Unified Gauge Theories. Physical Review Letters. 33-7, Bibcode, 1974-PHRVL, .33, 451-G doi, 10.1103, physrevlet.33.451. Poggio, E. C., Quinn, H. R., Weinberg, S. 1976. Smearing Method in the Quark Model. Physical Review D13 7, 1958-1968. Bibcode, 1976-PHRVD, .13, 1958-P. Doi 10.1103 Fizrev.13.1958. Paki, R. D. Quinn, H. R. 1977. C. P. Conservation in the Presence of Pseudoparticles. Physical Review Letters. 38, 25, 1440 3. Bibcode 1977 PHRVL.38, 1440p. Doi 10.1103 Fizrevlet.38.1440. 
R. D. Paki, Helen R. Quinn, Constraints Imposed by CP Conservation in the Presence of Instantons, Phys. Rev. D. 16 to 1791 minus 1797, 1977. Arthur E. Snyder, Helen R. Quinn, Measuring CP Asymmetry in B, to Rho Pi Decays Without Ambiguities, Phys. Rev. D48-2139-2144, 1993. Topic external links The Franklin Institute Awards, Helen Rhoda Quinn contains a video, Fierce Female Physicist Tackles a Problem Even Einstein Couldn't Solve. A Wormhole Between Physics and Education. Quanta Magazine. 2016. Video 2. Helen Quinn, Interview About Women in Physics. National Academy of Sciences. 2004. Audio Interview. Entry on Helen R. Quinn. CWP Project. UCLA. Archived from the original on 27 February 2015. Retrieved 31 October 2012, Grandma Got STEM, The Many Mysteries of Antimatter, Silicon Valley Astronomy Lecture Series, 2013. You Could Be a Mathematician, Autobiographical Notes by Helen Quinn, 2013. Of Symmetries, The Strong Force and Helen Quinn. Symmetry Magazine. 2015. STEM Summit Interview, What Moment in Your Career Are You Most Proud of? 2012. Importance of Education and Training in the Developing World, International Center for Theoretical Physics, 2011. Helen Quinn on Teaching Physics, Actively Learning to Think Like Scientists. International Center for Theoretical Physics Our Long Colloquium Topic References, <references>